everyone and happy Monday. I'm so glad you are joining us this morning. I have a question for you. So how many of you use your white colored pencil? <laughs> well, this weekend I learned a technique uh, that I can't wait to share with you. It is the easiest way to use your colored pencil with stamping. But before I get into that, uh, for those of you who have just found me, let me introduce introduce myself. My name's Christina Reese, and this is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page, and that's at 9.30 a.m. Central Time. I'm here in Texas in the United States. Okay. Um, one more thing. We have a big sale starting tomorrow. It's a seasonal sale for three days, and I'm real excited about it. Be sure to watch your email tomorrow. I will be sending out detailed information in the morning. Like I said, it lasts three days. So the 16th, the 17th, and the 18th, we have 10% off cardstock, we have 15% off ink, and we have 20% off of our dies. And I'm gonna be using the scalloped contour dies if you do not own these. Um, this is something you'll really want in, in your uh, stash. It, uh, these dies, you just use them all the time. They're really awesome. So I'll show those to you in just a minute. Okay, wow, look at all these people this morning. I love it. Hello, you all. And those of you watching on YouTube, this is a Facebook Live. And so I have people talking on the side and I do uh, reply to comments and questions occasionally throughout the video. All right, well, um, like I said, we are doing colored pencils today, okay? And um, let me switch my video over real quick. Um, move that, there we go, and switch that, bring that off of there. Okay, um, colored pencils. So this is traditional colored pencils. These colored pencils are a wax-based colored pencils. They are your just the school, you know, supply colored pencil. Um, and artists use them. They're beautiful for drawing and coloring, but we are not using these kind. We're using Stampin' Up's watercolor colored pencils. So you can either get, and this technique though, you, you can use either one. I just wanted you to be familiar that there are two kinds of water, uh, colored pencils. There are watercolor colored pencils and there are regular traditional wax-based colored pencils. So we're not using those. And what's really cool about these is that this is watercolor pigment in here. So when you touch it with water, it becomes a paint. It's so awesome. Like I said, we're not actually gonna be using it as a watercolor, we're just using it as a colored pencil. So you can use either one, but um, I just wanted to let you know that Stampin' Up! sells watercolored colored pencils and there is a difference. All right. Wow, oh, we've got Leslie from England today. I know it's afternoon for you. Hello, afternoon. And um, we've got Linda also, she's in the UK. Love it when the rest of the world is watching us, so fun. I love, I love virtual, uh, the, the internet, it's so much fun. Okay, so uh, I've talked about the different kind of colored pencils, we're using the white one. We're also gonna be doing heat embossing today. So I've got out my heat embossing supplies. If you have not heat embossed before, these are the things you need. First, you need the Versamark ink. This is a sticky ink that this embossing powder sticks to, and then when you uh, use the heat gun and a apply heat to this, you get uh, this powder melts and it creates a really beautiful raised, um, shiny embossed image. Um, so we're gonna be doing that. Um, another piece to the embossing um, repertoire here, the, the embossing buddy, this is a just talc powder to rub on your cardstock before you uh, stamp with the Versamark. It, what it does is it gets the static electricity off of away from all your work because this powder is so light and um, it just, it clings to anything. So if there's any static or anything, it's gonna cling and this powder helps you not do that. It's called Embossing Buddy. You can get it at any craft store, okay? Um, and then, of course, my stamp here. Um, I use coffee filters, but any paper that uh, will catch the powder when the extra powder, and you can put it back in your container. So that's all that. And one more item, and that is a paintbrush, uh, just a dry paintbrush, so that if you do get some powder where you don't want it, you can lightly uh, brush it away. All right, so we have all of that. That's our uh, heat embossing tools. Um, what else do we need? Today's card, I am going to be using the Angels of Peace uh, stamp set. And if you ordered my card kit this last month, 
uh, this stamp set was uh, part of that. And so if you ordered it, um, you will be receiving this stamp set. Um, if you did not, you can go into my shop and get it. And what else are we using? Okay, what I said, the contour dies and they are 20% off tomorrow. Um, and just look, they have all these fun scallop dies. And so, uh, and they're uh, layering. I just love it. Um, it also has the flowers, but it has a scalloped uh, edge here which is really cool to use on your cards also. So this is just a great die set to own if you don't have it. Like I said, tomorrow it's 20% off. Um, what else am I using? Uh, okay, this paper, now this paper's not on sale, but I love this paper, but it was out of stock for so long. They finally have it back in stock. So if you've had your eye on the Ink Impressions uh, designer paper, it has this beautiful gold in it and so I wanted to use this paper and so I'm using this paper and then I'm using the colors in here to go along with it. All right, we've got all our supplies. Oh, I'm also gonna use some gold ribbon and gold dots too um, because of the gold inlay in the paper. All right. We're gonna first heat emboss, you guys ready? All right, so first um, my card base, oh, and then also this part. So my card base is, and let me bring this up so you can see it better. Ooh, it's kind of dark. I need some more light. What's going on? Hold it. There is, oh, I see what's happening. My, excuse me, my blinds are causing problems here. Let me lift that up. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> ah, there we go. Now you can see it. Okay, so eight and a half by five and a half is my card base. Then my layer is four by five and a quarter. My scalloped contour die and like i said i'm just using the colors from the designer paper so this is just jade here and this piece is mint macron and it is measured at two and five eighths by three and seven eighths and it fits right inside the stitching of the contour uh scalloped rectangle there so it fits right inside there so that's those measurements and then i also have some gold uh foil paper here and we're going to use that too so we've got all of our measurements and we just need our scalloped rectangle and we need our gold okay well come here there we go move all this out of the way and let's get our uh paper here to catch it and our versamark ink like i said this is just a sticky ink to hold this sticky powder and we've got our embossing buddy all right. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Janet. Janet says she loves the cat print. Yes, um, I, this time of year is so fun, and I just, I love leopard in the fall. Isn't it? It's just fun. I love it. Uh, so thank you. And we are going to uh, put some powder on here to kind of get the static off of there. Then we're going to get our stamp, and I'm using the this beautiful angel here. And we're going to stamp her up. Let me move all this over so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. And then, and she just fits on here. Okay. And hold her down for a sec. Let that Bursa Mark get the, into that cardstock. Okay. Pop it off. And I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah. You can see beautifully. See that? Versamark. It's a sticky ink. Now watch this fun part. Like I said, if you've never done heat embossing, it's so easy, but a lot of people forget about it. Um, and all we're doing is we're just taking it and just liberally, is that a word? <laughs> okay. And so we have the powder on there. And now because I've used this sheet here, I can quickly just put this powder back in my container. All righty. And Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. I wanna do this piece also. I am doing the sentiment, okay? So we're going to ink up our sentiment and careful not to let it move. It is uh, slippery on the gold foil. There we go. Oh, and I forgot the embossing buddy, but hopefully we'll be okay. <sighs> nope. Okay, this, let me show you what happened. I did not use the embossing buddy. Do you see all the white powder there? Um, I'm gonna try to get away with uh, just brushing it off. Problem is I really cannot get in between the letters. So this is gonna be difficult, but hopefully. Yeah, you definitely want that embossing buddy. Ooh, especially with my shaky hand. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. <sighs> Looks like I got most of it. All right, so now we have that on there too. Oh, put this back in here. Yay. Hey, Mima, good to see you here this morning. Awesome. And Cindy says it's magical. Not sure what's magical. I haven't been reading very well. Oh my gosh, Debbie Spicer, it's 80 degrees. Yeah, it's gonna be 75 here in Texas. So yeah, we got the heat back. I was having so much fun with my sweaters and everything the other day, but now it's all hot again. Now that we have that, we bring out the trusty old heat gun. Now, whoops, come here, heat gun. Oh, it's a little... Sorry, you guys, I had it over here and I meant to reattach it over here. So the heat gun, uh, you just hold it, plug it in, sorry. So prepared, aren't I? There we go. All right. So we uh, let it heat up, and it's going to make some noise. You're going to let it heat up for a minute or two so that it doesn't warp your paper or burn your paper, um, so you don't have to keep it on the paper very long. And it just takes a minute or two. You can kind of feel if it's, if it's hot. It is. It's very hot. All right. And you just hold it on the card until you see it turn to shiny okay and there it goes and let me hold that up so you can see what I'm talking about see how it's shiny right there but on her wing it's still kind of powdery okay and then it just all right well I'm not gonna sit here and do the whole thing for you because that would take all day and so by the magic of me getting up early in the morning and doing them for you they're done <laughs> Okay, so uh, here is my sentiment on my gold and uh, the, uh, my little angel on the white. And hold on. I have my dust cloth here. You also want one of these things around your craft room when you're working with embossing powder or glitter. It is the best for picking it up. Yes, there we go. Just a micro cloth. Just wonderful. I'm going to just keep it in my lap. All right, back to my girl. Now, here is our technique. What time is it? 12 minutes and we're just starting. Oh my goodness, I gotta not talk so much. We're gonna color her in with white, but we're not gonna color the whole thing. And that's the that's the um, the beauty of this technique, okay? So we're just, I'm gonna color in her dress, okay? And you don't have to do anything real special, just color, you know? It doesn't matter if there's lines or anything, okay? And... The embossing gives you the detail, and the white is just kind of giving your eye something else to look at, okay? It's, um, there we go, and come over here. So if you have not ever used your white colored pencil, I am showing you a really fun way to do it. There we go. And real easy, okay? And like I said, this will work with either watercolor pencils or regular colored pencils, the kind for um, school supplies or art. Artists use it also. You can get really expensive regular uh, colored pencils also. All right, so there's her dress. Oh, and you can see that beautifully in the video. And then her hair and the bird and the wings are all left uh, blank. They're not colored. And if you want to make it a little darker, just press down a little harder, okay, and get more color on there. Okay. But that's the idea. How easy was that? <laughs> Now, if you want to, you could color the wings also, but I wanted the wings to really pop out. And so by coloring her dress, it makes the wings um, stand out a little better. And of course, you could go the opposite way. You could color the wings and leave her dress blank. Either way would be fine. All right, let's put this beautiful card together. Um, I have my scalloped rectangle and I am going to, oops, put my heat gun over there and get it out of the way. Okay, and just put some adhesive on here. we go. 
And now uh, we have our card base and our card layer. We need to do that also, except before I put this on here, I wanna put some gold ribbon on here. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some woo, adhesive back here. Okay, and I'm just going to wrap my ribbon. Let me cut some off before I, yeah, it's easier. Oh, my snips are. Okay, so we're not tying a bow today. We are just putting the ribbon on. Okay, and then use your grid paper to keep everything lined up. There we go. And once you have it where you want it, you just fold it over. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. And now we can put it on our card base. So far, so good. And of course, we're going to need to put this up on dimensionals. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Stephanie McKnight says, thank you for reminding me of the heat embossing. Yes, like I said, a lot of us have the heat embossing stuff. We just forget to get it out and use it. So this is a fun technique to do with your heat embossing. Well, thank you, Catherine. Catherine says, oh, I forgot I can do this. Catherine says, hi, Christina. I love your card tutorials. I look forward every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then that is from Ireland. Oh, how fun. Oh, my gosh. I hope to get to Ireland someday. Um, just, I've been to Scotland, but I have not been to England or Ireland. So those are on my bucket list. All right, there we go. And I can take that off of there. Yay. <laughs> So far, so good. What else do we need? Oh, we need our sentiment. So here's our sentiment. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this down all the way to the edge of the lettering, okay? So it's kind of like fussy cutting your sentiment. There we go. And now that is gonna fit on there beautifully right there. So let me get some adhesive. And yeah, right there. And then last but not least, and I almost always forget this, but these uh, gold, so these are the brushed metallic adhesive dots. I love them. They come in the copper and then this kind of a olive green, but then they also have the gold here. So here are my tweezers, and where am I going to put my dots? Um, so here we go with the art design here. So look at your card and go, all right, where does my eye go? My eye's going right here, that's perfect. But I'd like my eye to come up here to her wing also. The gold is just catches your eye really fast, and so it'll go to the sentiment right away because it's on gold. But I want the eye to go and see the rest of the card too. So let's put some gold up here. Whoops, come here, little guy. go and I have two dots there let's put hmm I'm thinking that might be enough yeah I'm thinking that looks great just the way it is all right we are done I hope you enjoyed today's card tutorial don't forget we have a sale starting tomorrow look for the email if you have not um, signed up for my newsletter go to creatingwithchristina.com where's that right there let me take this off put that up Okay, creatingwithchristina.com. On that page, when you go there, you are going to see um, over on the right side of the blog a place to sign up for my newsletter. Or if you wait just a minute, a pop-up will come and you can sign up through the pop-up. So that's how you sign up for my newsletter. And I'll be sending that out tomorrow. Um, also, don't forget if uh, you spend $50 or more and you use this host code, let's see if can I point to my host code, use this host code, 
<laughs> it's so fun to try to play with the reverse of uh, cameras. Anyways, uh, you all have a blessed Monday. I'll be back here Wednesday with a card challenge. And this Wednesday is going to be a color challenge. So I'm looking forward to that. I have that planned out for you. Got lots of great ideas this past weekend with, oh my gosh, you are going to love the January catalog. Okay, you all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.